Okay. Can we actually get into the high energy lab before it gets below the sand? Let's go! Oh, I guess a sandstorm actually takes a moment to start, huh? Narrow miss. Nyom. Okay. Alright. Down oh, Titan for a nice landing, let's go. Inside, into the cave. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Yeah, yeah, it does matter. Oop. Could matter. Oop, not good. Cactuses. Ow. Lots of cactuses. Ow. <laughs> Too many cactuses. <laughs> We did it! Keep going! Alright! Okay. Need to get down to the high energy lab with some haste. I think we could follow the big cable. But I feel like I had an issue with that last time. Ow! I'm stuck. Literally can't go to the sand. This is the worst. What the hell? Oh. Yeah. Ugh. I just go the wrong way? Maybe not. But also, maybe. Yep. <laughs> well, I guess we'll try one more time before restarting this run. It probably could have gone better. Oh, right, I guess I can tell which way it's, like, the electricity is going. Okay. Oh my god, these cactuses are the fucking worst. Is it not correct to go over these cactuses? 
My cat is... Ah! <laughs> All right. <laughs> Maybe I should wait for the... Uh... Uh, except now I have just like no oxygen in the world. <laughs> I suppose I can wait for the sand to go over the cactus. <laughs> but now I'll just suffocate instead. <laughs> Too much cactus puncture. Guess I'll die. Impatient. Well, also no oxygen, so, you know, sometimes you just gotta go. <gasps> yeah. Definitely a loser mentality. Clear to me if the uh, no money oxygen actually. I forget if uh, any of the escape pods talked about. Oh, uh, they talked about breathable atmosphere, but I suppose it might not be oxygen they need. Oh, that's a good point. They didn't grow trees. All oh, right, the trees do provide oxygen that we use. Yeah, good point. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, we going fast. This is very fast. A little too fast. Okay. Alright. If we think what we're doing... Is, uh... Oh. You're right, let me take a look at that. Right, I have like a little, uh, where? Do I have a bomb top? Uh, I have this little plant next to me. Some vegetation. Okay. First things first, where's the fucking ghost matter? It's oh, it's there. Okay. If we think we're going to wait to cover the cactus with sand, I don't actually have to go incredibly fast. Actually, for to get a bit of oxygen there. Raise this dust a little bit. Sure does look like I could just jump that gap. Guess I'll sit here and wait. I'll let the sand fill it up. Until that turns out not to be the right thing. So I can look around a little bit on here. 
Maybe there's not too much to see. Stand on the sand. My delicious sand. My slowest elevator in the world. We. How's everyone doing? <laughs> Drink water. My concern is I feel like the last time I came in here, I feel like I got past this point, maybe because the sand was already farther up. And then just the cable like ran into a wall and I couldn't do anything. So, we'll see if that's what happens. And if so, maybe I'll ask a bit. <laughs> yeah, could believe. When do we think it's safe? What about there? Fucking shit. Jesus Christ. <laughs> right. This. This is a problem. This was... Oh. Oh, I see. We're gonna go over some more cactuses. I guess. And I'm gonna wait, like, a little longer, or I'm gonna actually jump a bit. Okay. We're gonna duck under those cactuses. All right, exciting times. Okay, I guess that wasn't the worst. Oh, deadly ghost master, that's also always fun. Hopefully we got some trees in this high energy lab. Or we will not be exploring for long. Uh, alright. Is he gonna say I'm like, this high energy lab is leaving some shit to be designed? Alright. We got trees. We got dead people. We got everything that we need. Kind of cool bark, huh? This like green brown intertwined bark. Alright, it's like the warp symbol. Ah. Various warp cores, different orbs. That's exciting. Oh, we could put two of them. Oh, to warp to kind of any two places, maybe? What's that do? those. Let me maybe read some stuff. Oh, it's a similar kind of device. Okay. Records show Nomai arriving at the warp receiver on Brittle Hollow very slightly before departing from the Whitehall Station. Rami and I are devising an experiment to test if this is a real phenomenon or a small machine error. In theory, what we want to try to reproduce is a negative amount of time elapsing between something entering the black hole and exiting the white hole at its destination. 
Initial things first. Our experiment setup will first pair a small black hole core with a small white hole core to make the setup on the white hole station. Hypothesis. It is possible for an object to exit a white hole before entering the corresponding black hole. Holding scroll, just put it down. Drop it. Drop. Fuck. Drop. Scroll. Thank you. Read this one. An update. Now our experiment here reproduced the anomaly in arrival and departure times, but Pi is unconvinced it's more than an equipment error. I hope to strengthen the effect to render it visible to the unaided eyes. To that end, we've decided to try adding more energy. I imagine the Sunless City's energy supply should prove sufficient. Of note, Raymond, Yero requests that we let him know if before we rewrote energy to the experiment. I hate to leave him in the dark. All available energy is rerouted from our, the city to our experiment. Oh, I hope it isn't, it's not a problem I turn the lights on then. Raymond and I are about to run a new test. Hypothesis confirmed, hypothesis confirmed, I saw it, I saw it, hypothesis confirmed. This is beyond extraordinary. This changes everything. What a beautiful day for the intersection of abstract theory and practical application. Alright, I will certainly... I guess before the sand gets too high, maybe I should try this out. So you want a white core... and a black core. Not sure if uh what are like these cores they're like some shitty nothing cores is it interesting in any way if we swap them I guess I myself am not able to replicate this experiment in the same way. Maybe they have more precise measuring tools. Ho, 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 ho. The Southern Observatory is asking if creating a 22 minute interval is possible. The assessment only arrived 22 minutes before it is actually sent through the warp. We've learned that negative interval of time between departure and arrival can be increased by adding more energy to the warp core. Problematically, the energy required to extend the interval increases at an exponential rate. Creating a 22 minute long interval is possible, but we are currently unable to generate the necessary energy. The energy is currently unavailable, you say? <laughs> You're a gas by. My pun was unattended. <laughs> Rami, so I believe it's you who is Aeroform. Raymond, I believe it would be necessary to invent a new method of producing energy. A thrilling but enormous undertaking. We also require advanced warp technology able to handle such energy. We would also like to need an enormous space to fit these proposed new energy and warp technologies together. The only location large enough would be Ash Twin. I guess that is the Ash Twin project. Just put the scroll down, put it anywhere, put it on the table. I'll look at those diagrams soon. The Ashton project will be one of our biggest undertakings, metaphorically and physically. To build it, we need a way to travel quickly between Ash Twin and each location that holds crucial project materials. What if we use warp towers like the one we have in Whitehall Station to connect Ash Twin? directly to each critical location. Hoke, Root, and I can begin work on this immediately in the Black Hole Forge. This will keep us busy. 
Of note, each tower and ashtray will warp to a different planet. My gratitude to those who noted my imprecise language. Yes, the sun is not a planet. I believe this has been sufficiently clarified. Come <laughs> stop reminding me. Okay, so maybe there is a warp to the sun station. We can design each tower to visually reflect its warp destination. Oh, is that true? Ah, the Giant's Deep Tower, for instance, could have a cyclone. And we can model the Timble Timber Hearth Tower after a geyser mountain. Ah. There's that we have going on. We have the Twin Towers. Okay. It's the cyclone. Okay, the cyclone is for Giant Steep. Is this one supposed to be the geyser for Timber Hearth? We have the Bumpity Tower for whatever the bubbles are. And the little drill bit tower for that. Perhaps this is worth having a picture of. Oh. Uh, no thanks. Just a sec. <laughs> Just taking a picture very clunkily. Okay. have my picture if I need it. haven't done yet is try this thing out. Oh, does this redirect all the power down to this experiment? Oh, okay. So now perhaps if I try. Let's see. Yeah, we get the error duplicate signal. Very exciting. I should figure out where all the different towers go, huh? Okay, so there's the triangle topped tower. Prepare for takeoff. Oh yeah, is this the Sun Tower? Oh, but that's the issue, is I can't use this one. Okay, it's a tower that would go to the Sun Station. If only we could actually get in there, okay. I see, they all talked about Sun Station here, yeah. Damn cactus. I hate you, Cactus. Ugh. Yeah, that was Hazard. Yes, how annoying. Okay. The sun-shaped tower would take us to the sun station. 
Or maybe even inside the sun. There's a door there, too. The back entrance? Oh, no, it's broken. Of course it is. Okay. Perhaps the sun station will be our next port of call. I have to do that at the beginning of a loop, I suppose. Alright, what have we learned? My plant extract technology capable of producing a 22 minute negative time interval on Ash one. Yes. I assume that's the length of our loop. I guess I don't know why they wanted this specific amount of time. Thank for confirmation. <laughs> the sun is not a planet. Yeah, it's possible that we weren't going to the sun station, but like, inside the sun in some way, but I assume it goes to the sun station. Yeah, what are we also missing in the Wickle Station? Okay. Yeah, perhaps let us go to the Sun Station. Feldspar did find a way. I feel like he, when I talked to him about it, he just talked about how his ship went into a hollow vine. We're going to explore the Bramble Island more. Forget, is that on here? Yeah. I'm not sure. Oh, okay, that island. Yeah, alright. Yeah, more of the construction yard, too. Okay. So I think what I will do is probably yeet myself into the sun. Then go looking for the sun station on the next loop. Farewell! There was something to lock onto. Maybe that was the sun station. Probably be my last run for the evening. If I just insta die, then yeah, go again.
guess I'll go closer. Wait for the sun station to come around. Try to start matching velocity to it. Oops, I used way too much force. Alright, try again. <laughs> I guess I kind of also want to be orbiting to the south so I can lock eyes at the station. How do you land on this thing? Apparently you can't lock onto it. That's very exciting. Maybe you can if you're like super close. I don't know. It'd be a lot nicer to warp onto here from the uh, <laughs> from Ash Twin. more subtle, like, Cabal Space Station, Cabal uh, Space Center controls. Cabal Space Program? I forget what the game's called. Oh, 
too close. Alright, maybe that's not how we're supposed to get there. So maybe I'll do a different thing for the last run. <laughs> it's a great video of me just staring at the sun. Yay. Oh, quantum moon. Yeah, the sixth location's interesting. Oh yeah, I guess I haven't, like, tried to go to Hollow's Lantern. This seems very dangerous. Sun Station. How to get on. Okay, what shall I explore in this run? Could try again to actually get into the Southern Observatory. I guess if that fails, I'll end up in the White Hole Station. I can try to explore something there. to explore Hollow's Lantern, but not while I'm going quite that fast. Okay, yeah, there's my dome. I can't get in using the dome. Maybe we'll do the gravity cannon. I'm not too concerned about the ship dying. Okay. attempt to get in there and it didn't work. Okay, so that's the observatory. It's this big blue structure. Well, that's gotta be weird to get into. Alright, what else did you notice then?
All right, we quite good use of this projection stone last time. Oh, I see, we're not rotating appropriately. They were just finding a projector for this stone. I guess that's Brittle Hollow. They say there's more to be explored on this station. Hmm. Ah, uh, okay. Indeed, the arrival time is just before. sworn there were projectors like around here but maybe not yeah I feel like I saw them at some point Might as well raise the forge, why not? We all figure out how to get over there. Because we are up at the North Pole, okay. to get up there. Cleverly designed to just not quite, quite be enough. <laughs> so 
Sky Shrine land with a projector screen. Falling down elevator shafts. No biggie. How to get to Southern Observatory. Like, this bridge, if it goes all the way along this meridian, would actually get me there. Oh, I see. This is just like you get there from either the Tower of Knowledge or the Cannon. Okay, but That big blue mass, I think. Right, we did park over by the gravity cannon. I really want to be there. there'd be some path doing that map, but... So this is just going to take us to the surface or something. Sure do want quantum knowledge. Oh, what am I thinking? Where's my ship? Hmm. Surely, with my ship, I could just. Fly up. Could I actually fly my ship into the Tower of Quantum Knowledge? I wonder if it would be small enough. 
and play similarly fly it into the observatory. I also want to like identify the signal. Okay. Yeah, I feel like maybe I never identified the signal, then therefore I never got the quantum fluctuations. Yeah, channel. Okay. Cool. Now, my ship is... Somewhere. Somewhere on this awful planet. too soon. So, this is the observatory. How the actual fuck do you get inside? Maybe that's not how we do it. <laughs> Don't you get anywhere to land? <laughs> but maybe. Maybe I can like manage to wedge my ship in there. I should do something similar for the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Only that. It's just like a small elevator shaft, right? That probably won't fly. But okay, I got the quantum radio channel. That's good. Oh, is there one on here? In any case, I think for the moment I will just check out what's in my ship info. Oh, well maybe I'll find one fluctuation. But I guess it's just the rock, uh, just the rock that's in there. Okay. So I presumably learned, oh, it didn't count this as learning anything, okay. I feel like I learned some quantum signal stuff, but all right. All right, hourglass twins, Timbrard, and Giant's Deep. All right. 
Yeah, so perhaps next time I will try to get into the Southern Observatory again. <laughs> Otherwise, thanks. I'll... Now I assume Wednesday is probably not playing. Unless Jason's busy for stuff tomorrow, in which case, maybe tomorrow. Guess we'll see. Um, but, alrighty. Thanks for coming. Go do more wild and soon. Now to find the button that stops the stream. I found it. Good night.